This video shows wind-driven gyro circulation and a rotating tank fabricated for the Atmospheric and Oceanic Sciences Department at the University of California, Los Angeles. Along with the tank, we use a set of paper dots which help visualize the surface flow. Two clip fans are attached to each side of the tank to mimic the atmospheric circulation above the gyre. We add food coloring to the tank to visualize the interior flow and have some pipettes to make distribution a little bit easier. Now we can move on to the experimental setup itself. We add enough water to fill to about 10 centimeters depth. This allows us to see the interior flow a little bit more clearly. Making a note that the tank will be spinning clockwise, this is the same thing as southern hemisphere rotation, we set up the fans to blow winds in an anticyclonic direction, or the opposite of the direction in which the tank is rotating. This creates an anticyclonic gyre, which is akin to what we see in the subtropics. The interior circulation is determined by the surface wind forcing. This is characterized by convergence at the surface, downwelling into the interior, divergence at depth, and upwelling along the edges of the tank. Now that we've set up everything, let's move on to take a look at the experiment. This video shows the tank from two different angles, one from the top of the tank in which the camera is spinning at the same rate as the tank itself, and one from the side so that we can see the interior circulation. I now add a few drops of blue dye, a few drops of red dye, and some paper dots to the surface. We'll take a look at this part from the side of the tank. It's a little bit easier to see the interior circulation from there. The sinking of the dye itself is due to the fact that the dye is a little bit denser than the surrounding water, and less so on the wind-driven circulation in the interior of the tank. Once the dye hits the bottom of the tank, however, you can start to see that the dye will tend outward toward the edges of the tank, just like the circulation we expect to see, with convergence at the surface and divergence below. I'll now speed up this video so we can see this happen a little bit quicker. If you look closely, you can actually see upwelling on the edges of the tank. I'll admit it is a little bit difficult to see in this experiment. However, it is important in closing the overturning circulation because of the downwelling of mass in the interior. Now that we've seen the interior, let's go back and rewind and look at the surface circulation. So this is near where we left off when we last looked at the surface. I'm adding a few paper dots here so that we can visualize the surface flow. At the surface, we expect to see convergence, so the paper dots should move to the interior, and in fact we can see that that does happen. If you look closely, you can also see that the dye is tending toward the interior as well. As time moves forward, we can see that at the bottom of the tank, the blue and the red will spread out to the edges. If you look closely at the edge right now, you can actually see a very thin layer of red dye that's surrounding the edge. The blue dye will eventually move out and meet the red dye and move up the sides of the tank as well. Again, it's a little bit hard to see, but it is necessary in order to close the overturning circulation in this gyre. Like last time, we'll double the speed of the rotation so that we can actually see this develop faster. At this point in the experiment, we can see that the paper dots have moved pretty much to the center of the tank, and that the dye is more diffuse within the tank itself. This has to do with the fact that the dye has been sinking, mixing, and moving about the rest of the tank. Wind-driven gyres have important implications in the ocean, specifically with biology and ecology. Subtropical gyres have gained notoriety in the past several decades. You might be familiar with the Pacific Garbage Patch, which sits in the center of the Southern Pacific Subtropical Gyre. Like the paper dots in this tank, trash is collected to the center of the gyre due to the Ekman-driven transport, where it stays until it's physically removed. There have been a lot of efforts over the last several years to do this, and things are hopefully going to be better in the future. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and that I've sparked some interest in experimental oceanography. Thanks for watching.